If P equals 2 plus 3i and Q equals 4 minus 2i, evaluate each of the following without using calculator. So in A, they ask us three times P. So all we're going to do is we will just substitute P in there. So 3 times 2 plus 3i. And I'll then expand my brackets using the distributive law. And I'll find 3 times 2 is 6 plus 9i. In B, they say 2 times P take 3q. And we're going to do the same thing. 2 times P and P equals 2 plus 3i. Take away 3 times Q and Q equals 4 minus 2i. We're going to do the distributive law first. So 2 times that times that. So we're going to do the distributive law. We'll apply the distributive law. I'm going to get 2 times 2 is 4 plus 6i. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Negative times negative is positive, 6i. I'm now going to collect my like terms. I'm going to say 4 take away 12 is negative 8. 6i plus 6i is positive 12i. With C, they ask us to multiply P by Q. So I'm going to substitute. I'm going to say P is 2 plus 3i. Multiply by Q, Q is 4 take away 2i. Now if I multiply, it's going to be 2 times 4. We're going to multiply like that. I'm going to say 2 times 4 equals 8. 2 times negative 2i is negative 4i. 3i times 4 is plus 12i. 3 times negative, plus 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. i times i is i square. If you can remember correctly, i square, i square equals negative 1. So I can replace this with negative 1, which gives us 8 minus 4y plus 12i is negative is positive 8i i square is negative 1 negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6 now i can say 8 plus 6 is 14 plus 8i and that's my final answer right for d i'm going to reduce my font size so it can actually fit in i have what is d if 1 divided by p if I'm going to substitute this, I'm going to have 1 over, and P was 2 plus 3i. 2 plus 3i. Now remember that if I have a complex number, I have to rationalize the denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by the conjugate of this. The conjugate of 2 plus 3i is 2 take 3i. But if I multiply that at the bottom, I must multiply with that at the top as well so that I don't change the value. I'm actually multiplying this fraction with 1. Now multiplying that out, 1 times this will be 2 minus 3i. Divide by. And remember because I'm multi multiplying with the conjugate, 2 times 2 is 4. There will be no middle term because I will have negative 6i, positive 6i, which falls away. And then plus 3 times negative 3 is negative 9i squared. i squared is negative 1, so this will become plus 9. This equal 2 minus 13, um, 2 negative 3, 2 take away 3i over 14, which is the same as 2 over 14, minus 3 over 14i, which you can simplify if you really want to, and you're going to simplify that as 1 over 7 minus 3 over 14i. So, 
That's it.